is still young. It is quite sad. But there's nothing we can do about it. Th thank you. How about coming to live with me? Huh? Wait. There are no connections or any official roles. Why did this company get exposed? Why are you here? Because of people like you, I became a banker to reduce the number of people hurt. My name is Keiichi Sato, and I became a banker because of a certain past. Now, I'm facing the past head on. Several decades ago, he is still young. It is quite sad. But there's nothing we can do about it. Indeed. Not only is there no inheritance, but he's left homeless due to a debt of 10 million. Such a pity. Yeah, and if there's debt, there won't be anyone to take him in. It's really unfortunate. Well, <laughs> but you see, you just took over my debt. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Are you Yuji Saito? Oh, it's you! Hey, as for the debt, I'm no longer the debtor! What do you mean? Oh, well, my kind-hearted nephew took care of it for me. <laughs> Though he's passed away now. That means you can't be serious. Uh, hey, anyway, I'm no longer a debtor, and you should ask the nephew's relatives about it. You're really something else! This, this kid, kid doesn't, doesn't understand, understand a thing, and he's, he's the, the nephew, nephew of that person. person! What's your name? I'm Keiichi. You've been through a lot too, huh? Hey Keiichi, if you're okay with it, how about coming to live with me? Huh? That's how I ended up being taken in by Yukiko-san, and I thought I'd never see them again. But why is your company in the transfer? Keiichi? I'm sorry, Noah. I got emotional during the handover. Keiichi, let's let bygones be bygones, right? Right! Are you saying that? But rest assured, I will never forgive you as an individual. Regarding the loan, however, I'll make a decision as a banker. Th that's good then. Since we're relatives, I'm counting on you. However, as a banker, my decision is no. Huh? W wait a minute! Are you going to abandon your relatives who are in trouble? I am a banker before I am a relative. I cannot lend further to a company with low repayment prospects. Low repayment prospects? What are you talking about? Are you trying to find fault with my company? It's not about finding fault, it's about facts. I understand from the financial statements that your company's revenue has been declining recently, with no signs of improvement. Well, it's just because the economy is bad. Once it gets better, we'll be making money like crazy. We were amazing back in the day, you know. Let's talk about the present, not the past. Moreover, the industry's revenues have been increasing, right? And besides, are there any efforts within the company to improve cash flow in anticipation of the loan? Hey, we're making efforts too. What do you know about it? As a banker, I can tell quite a bit from looking at the financial statements. Furthermore, efforts? Are you sure? Executive compensation remains the same despite declining revenues, right? Anyway, under the current circumstances, we should not only consider additional loans but also possible recalls. R recall <laughs> Your father was generous, but the son has turned into quite an unpleasant adult. You, you are you really saying that? You are the one who forced my father into debt and ran away. What's with that attitude? You, you, as a banker, what happened to that judgment? Besides, it's already beyond the statute of limitations, isn't it? What's with your attitude? G get lost, outsider. Noah, it's all right. <sighs> Thank you anyway, Mr. Saito. As I mentioned earlier, personally, I can't forgive you. But I'll handle this as a banker. If you're considering business reconstruction, let's positively work towards it. Reconstruction? <laughs> Reconstruction! <laughs> Alright, if you won't provide additional funding then... Then? Well, we're going bankrupt, so please feel free to pull out the financing too. No way! KG? All the equipment has been removed. Feel free to freeze the accounts and seize assets from other banks as well. 
Well, the balance is negligible anyway. This method, uh, this meticulous preparation, you're completely serious. Do you even realize you're trying to dodge your debts? Dodging debts sounds bad. I just didn't manage my business well. I really want to pay it back. But what can you do, right? I don't have the money. Well, take it back if you want. What's that? Awful! But what should we do? If they've planned this meticulously, our options are limited. Noah, it's okay. Do you remember what we discussed at the branch? Huh? Oh yeah! Something about... records, right? Yes. You can see the bank books and financial records on your tablet, right? Can you bring them up now? I can, but there's hardly any balance left. Most of the liquid assets have been converted into something else, I think. I see. Noma-san is right. Indeed, there's no balance. And at first glance, it seems clever, but... But it's alright. Actually, it's quite the opposite. He will lose because he didn't convert it into liquid assets. Huh? What do you mean, Keiji? Where are you getting the money that isn't there? Don't worry. I think we already have the evidence. Anyway, let's go! I'll fill you in on the details on the way. I won't, I won't fall, fall for, for the, the same, same trick, trick again. again. I'm, not I'm not going, going to, to let, let him, him get, get away, away with, with borrowing, borrowing money! <laughs> it worked out well this time, too! Absolutely! But hey, how about we take a trip somewhere until things calm down? I prefer overseas this time. I've been collecting brochures. I like it. But I didn't realize Keiji had become a banker. I thought he'd get an additional loan. He remembers his past so well. Well, I guess there's nothing he can do to it when he's just transferred over. You seem to be having quite a fun conversation. Feel free to include me. What? Hey, what's... Huh? What are... Huh? Why are you here? You look like you want to say that, right? Well, that can wait. By the way, do you have any trouble? Perhaps something related to money? For example, any issues with accounts of companies not under your name? Company accounts? Wha wait! Why is this account frozen too? This account you established under someone else's name. Is it about the IT company that owns this office now? Uh... There are no connections or any official roles. Why did this company get exposed? Because your previous business was in the construction industry. Sorry to keep you waiting. You can come in now. Huh? <laughs> Who's? Damn! You're a rough son of a mother. Uh, you. Long time no see. Do you remember me? Despite the funeral performance? Why are you here? And now the company's being exposed too! Why? Well, it's because my cute son asked me to. But why you? <laughs> Did you forget? My job. Or rather, my position. Let me reintroduce myself. I'm Yuriko Sato from the Construction Industry Association. In my line of work, I hear a lot about the industry. But when did this happen? You didn't suspect my bankruptcy. I doubted it from the handover stage. Well, I never thought you'd be the president. I didn't expect you to plan bankruptcy. But your company had too many suspicious points that I couldn't overlook as a banker. Firstly, despite such a decrease in revenue, executive compensation hasn't reduced. You can't pay what you don't have. So where is this money coming from? Initially, I thought maybe you were generating cash through equipment sales. But the financial statements I received indicated an increasing trend in equipment investment. Y yes I... I increased equipment for the sake of reconstruction. What's wrong with that? Certainly, if you isolate that part, there's nothing wrong. I understand it was an investment for business reconstruction, and I didn't doubt that aspect. But there are some strange points here. Strange points? Don't make baseless accusations. There definitely are! Why is the investment in facilities increasing while the sales are decreasing? <laughs> well, that's because the investments didn't translate well into sales. That's not it, right? If it were just a decrease in sales, I could understand that. But in your case, 
Despite investing in facilities, there's been no change in costs. Well, what does it matter if costs haven't changed? Normally, investing in facilities should affect costs, inventory, or something. Sales are declining, costs aren't improving, and there's been no fluctuation in inventory. Sounds very suspicious. If executive compensation had decreased, I could understand a misstep, but that hasn't decreased. Uh, well, but you don't have any proof. Besides, how does this explain what the company does? Proof? If you're looking for proof, it should be in this company, right? Huh? Yuriko, just as we expected. Thank you. Oh my, oh my. This company... On the surface, it's supposed to be an IT company. Yet, why does it have facilities like a construction company? Well, well that's... um... You used equipment as collateral to hide the flow of money, didn't you? You conducted fake IT transactions and used the equipment set as accounts receivable as collateral, didn't you? And once things cooled down, you planned to sell the equipment through this company for cash! That's... No need for strange excuses. There's no other answer than the fact that only collateral moved despite the supposed transactions with goods that were supposed to be in your company. No, no I was planning to repay the bank properly. You planned such a calculated bankruptcy, and yet you're saying that? Uh. Well, miss, could you calm down a bit? More importantly, can you explain that your words just now were truthful? My words just now? That you intended to repay the bank properly. Uh, of course. Then can you also explain this? The bank? Just do whatever you want with that. It's fine. <laughs> They're the ones at fault for lending money in the first place. Don't you say? When you lend money, you should expect it not to come back, right? It's okay. <laughs> I've dodged debts like this multiple times before. Besides, worst case, you can just push it to someone else. Well, you see, I'm actually a director in the construction industry, so I get these kinds of consultations often. Your reputation in this industry seems quite bad, huh? Seems like you've caused trouble in many places. Th that's not true, Keiichi. It's not like that. Please, I'm at the end of my life here. What do you mean it's not like that? If it's money, I'll definitely repay it. So please, I'll do something about the company. Your company's financial situation is extremely dire. Your credit rating is poor. And currently, there's no possibility of repayment, right? Th that's... I'll do my best to figure something out. I'll try my hardest. What's your specific repayment plan? How would you use a loan to increase your sales? Well, uh, um, I'll think about it once I receive it. Think about it? What about your bad reputation in the industry? What about the declining sales? Well, uh, I'll do my utmost sincerely. So, basically, you don't have any concrete plan, right? If not, our bank won't lend you a single penny. Uh, I... Uh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Please forgive me. You're apologizing to the wrong person. You should apologize to the people you deceived. The people who trusted you and lent you money, like my father! I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. You were talking about the Statue of Limitations. But you know what happens when you borrow money without intending to repay it, right? You'll have to take responsibility in court properly. After that, some time passed, and Saito was found guilty due to a plethora of uncovered crimes. Deemed highly malicious. Given his age, he would likely never return to mainstream society. And as for me... Dad, it took a long time, but perhaps this is some form of redemption? I'll strive to prevent having more people like you, Dad, so please watch over me, okay? Well then... Thank you for watching until the end. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.